this is Susan King from the Los Angeles Times. I write the Sunday Classic Hollywood column and the weekly Classic Hollywood newsletter. And we're looking at a movie from 1924, Into the Net. A lot of smoking, a lot of dancing, a lot of pretty people, a lot of drinking. The movie experience of the 1920s, the 1920s silent film, it depended where you lived. Let's say you lived in a big city like New York, Chicago, and even Los Angeles. You would have movie palaces. We have the Egyptian in Hollywood, built in 1922. You have the Chinese, which was 1927. Lavish, beautiful. You would have orchestras playing music, accompanying the movies. Sometimes there would be scores written for them, but mostly they weren't. And then things would change as it would get to smaller towns. If you lived in a small town, it would be a pianist and a piano. And often they would just ad lib. They would watch the movie and play along with the movie. You had to know a lot about music and a lot about music of that era because a lot of these improv scores use themes, popular songs from that time. And even today, when silent films are played around the world and in Los Angeles, it's the same thing. And a lot of times people do write scores for silent films. Especially when you get them on DVD and on Blu-ray, sometimes the silent film will have three, four different types of scores. You could just have organ music playing. You could have like a new orchestral song, a score. You could have something offbeat and outrageous. It all depends on the composer. I remember seeing uh, a restored uh, version of uh, D.W. Griffith's Intolerance at uh, Royce Hall, and it was a gentleman with a, an organ playing, and he played for as long as that movie lasted, which was like about three hours. It was incredible. Today's composers compose scores that reflect the action that we see on a screen, and the same was true during the silent era. If it was a, comp a conductor with a major orchestra or a piano player in a small town. They would come up with music that would reflect what was going on in the scene. So in a chase sequence with a Max Sennett comedy or in this film, that would be reflected in the music. If it was a dramatic moment, that would be reflected in the music. Comedic, the same. Uh, chase sequences, the same. If it was a dance sequence, if it was a party, it would maybe have music from that era, the, the popular songs of the day that would be included in certain scenes. 